Hello, my name is Lisa, JJ Muti, so it's Game News, everybody. And right now I want to give you another rant review. This is another disappointing video games of all time review. And, of course, if you read the title, you know what a game it is. It's not than the new Star Wars Battlefront video game. And, granted, I'm doing this a year later. And I decided to give this game a second chance. I decided, like, you know what? What the hell? It wasn't that bad. And I still fucking hate it. Why is this the one of the most disappointing video games of all time? Here's the thing. We were out of Star Wars Battlefront for a long time. After the masterpiece was Star Wars Battlefront 2, I don't, I didn't expect anything to beat it. But what I do expect is to have more and three heroes on each side. In this game, you get three heroes, Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker. The Empire, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, and Emperor. The PS2 version, you had like nine different Siths. Uh, characters, you had General Grievous, Darth Maul, Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Anakin Skywalker, Dark Vader, the two versions you could have played. Um, what else? You got Count Dooku. Um, it was just so many. And the heroes, you, you got Mace Windu, Yoda, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Kyoto Mindy, Ada Sakura. Oh, basically a whole bunch of heroes you get to play. Not to mention, the heroes weren't fucking invincible. Like, they, you could kill them with enough blaster shots, they could die. If, like, a group of ten of them shot at you... You could die. In this one, they are undefeated. You can never die from the freaking uh, hero. If the hero's are there and he has a lightsaber, you're fucking screwed. Yeah, he'll take 40 of you before he even kills you. And I, I don't understand. This game is so fucking limited. You get four maps if you only get paid a $60 version. Whoever paid a $60 version, I don't know what to tell you. And here's the thing. Four different maps. You get Tatooine, Hoth, the new one from, um... Oh, you also get Endor, and you also get the new one from the new, uh, Star Wars Force Awakens video, uh, movie. And you get those four maps, and that's... Well... Star Wars... Let me tell you something. Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Great games. It was not limited. You had multiple... Okay, you had multiple multiple characters you could play you get to have multiple weapons there was a uh, space battles there was galactic conquest going around there was campaigns and overall no campaign no galactic conquest no space battles and i'm not even including that one where you fight on the planet because that could have been a bonus if anything what kind of fucking shit you got conquest in this game in my personal opinion one of them is it's one of the one map i forgot one mode is called is something and it. it's just really conquest in a way but overall it's not that fun the maps are over <laughs> they're fucking huge which i do enjoy it's just literally so someone could camp behind an entire rock get injured and have their health regenerate and health regeneration is fucking stupid in my opinion you should not regenerate your fucking health at all i mean back in the battle from games you had to find an animal droid or you literally had to be best and the fact is, anyone could be a hero in this game. Anyone could be a hero. You don't earn the right to be a hero. You don't earn the right to do anything, really. Um, if you get the season, if you get, there's two extra packs. You could get Cloud City for 15 bucks. You could get another map for uh, for 15 bucks. And a Death Star is coming soon. So if we're calculating 15 plus 15, you're spending at least 90 or more on a fucking video game. 17 on wimp, uh, 17 weapons. Um, you don't get to play a Wookiee, you don't get to play a Bottom Spy, you don't get to play one of the uh, droids. I mean, you don't really get to play a whole lot of characters at all. It's a limited game, it's just some multiplayer bullshit. The spawns are terrible, just like Call of Duty. Um, the shootings, uh, the, the how you get shot at and how many kills you die from, I don't mind that, because that's okay. I just, fact, I just hate the fact that it's 17. Uh, 17 only uh fucking weapons and you only get some of this if you buy the 15 dollars shit what kind of fucking bullshit is that um what else can i possibly say i know everyone has made a rant about this entire video game that i know of and i know i'm late to it but i'm just gonna but this is one of the most disappointing video games of all time there is very little to redeem about this other than the look of how it is and the uh, um sound uh, the soundtrack i mean it's freaking awesome to hear though blasters to hear the music of star wars going in there and yes the graphics are amazing but it still doesn't take away that you're paying extra you're paying so much for a fucking video game that you get so limited stuff you don't get all the freaking 
locations that you want. And granted, I don't think it was going to be better than Star Wars Battlefront 2. But if anything, you could have done this for a new generation. Give us more maps for free. At least give us 10 fucking maps. That's at least better than 4. Give us at least 10 maps, different locations, more hero than people have been okay with this. But it's so fucking limited. It didn't take nothing upon the, the two Battlefront games. Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. And here's the thing. You should just remaster Battlefront 2 or, or Battlefront 1 if you're really going to do Battlefront. This is a reboot. You should have just uh, put it for the new. Just make it the same old Battlefront for the next generation. You should have just done that. And just that multiplayer. Everything else was fucking great. You could change the maps a bit, but either way, have the same fucking formula. It was a perfect glory to follow that formula. If anything, if you really want to create a new Star Wars Battlefront game, why not do something like the Yushifang War in the Star Wars history or the Old Republic? I mean, there's so much stuff you could use from the Star Wars universe, and the fact is you're going back to the same old stuff but with limited options. It's fucking waste. It's a cash or a grab. It's a fucking atrocious thing to do. And it's like Assassin's Creed Unity for me. It doesn't have to... I prefer this game over Assassin's Creed Unity. But it looks amazing. It sounds amazing. But when you get down to it, the content's not really that fucking great at all. So yeah, Star Wars Battlefront... This EA Star Wars Battlefront is a fucking atrocious piece of shit that you must never, ever waste more than 60 bucks on. Hell, you shouldn't even pay more than... 20 in my opinion. You should pay at least 10, 15 bucks. This game's not worth the price of a $20 game in my opinion. That is my humble opinion. But I got it. Uh, yeah, I'm just soaking in the disappointment. This game was fucking atrocious. Not a terrible game, but such a fucking disappointment. Uh, not just comparing it to other Star Wars Battlefront games, but just comparing it to itself of what its limited option and availability was to us. Ah, oh, I fucking hate it. Alright, everyone. My name's Lee, signing off from you, everybody. Uh, bye.